<laughs> they were calling someone expecting to get their answer machine, but instead they answered. It's gonna throw you off, doesn't it? It's like a split second there when you want to go, Yeah, is the machine there? <laughs> oh, it's off now. When will it be on again? I'll call back then. They will leave a message you regret right after you hang up. Trying to be funny, it doesn't work out. Yeah, sorry I missed you. Give me a call when you get in, and uh, your wife gives really good head. <laughs> you gotta drive over there, break into their house, try to erase it. <laughs> Have you ever called someone up and you're disappointed when they answer the phone? You wanted the machine. You know, and you're always kind of thrown off. You go, oh, I, uh, I, I didn't know you were there. I, uh, just wanted to leave a message saying, sorry, I missed you. So here what we have is two people hate each other, don't really ever want to talk. But the phone machine is like this relationship respirator keeping these marginal brain-dead relationships alive. And we all do it. Why? So that when we come home, you can see that little flashing red light. You go, all right, messages. You see, people need that. It's very important for human beings to feel that they are popular and well-liked amongst a large group of people that we don't care for. Why, yeah. why don't you do the answering machine bit? My always answering kills. machine bit always kills. Always kills. That's about, like, how I phone the answering your answering machine, hoping that you don't answer. <laughs> I'm actually hoping to get the answering machine <laughs> rather than every time. person. I don't do it. It's anymore. funny and true. It's funny and it's not important. <laughs>